tell from the other fall themed videos that exist on my YouTube channel. I'm obsessed with fall. Now, usually my fall themed videos are about fall recipes or even fall specialty items from the store. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I'm equally as passionate about for the fall season. And I'm not talking about Red, Taylor's version coming out and the fact that we're gonna have the 10 minute version of All Too Well, not that, not that. But instead, fall attire. I wanted to do a fall clothing try on haul to show you guys what I'm absolutely loving so far this season and some other things that I have that I can't wait to wear. Before I get into the try on haul, I wanted to give a thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Princess Polly. Princess Polly is an online clothing store where they have the cutest and trendiest outfits year round. Like seriously, I go to them all the time for style advice because I can always buy one or two articles of clothing, but it's the styling that always gets me. Since they were kind enough to work with me on this video, they've given me a discount code to share with you guys. You can use the code KaylaX 20 at checkout and you can get 20% off site-wide. We live in a time where we do pretty much everything online, including our shopping. So what's great about Princess Polly is that they ship within the United States and on any US order over $50, they offer three to four day express shipping. Another thing is that if you're balling on a budget or you're doing your online shopping with Princess Polly just in time for the holiday season, they offer afterpay and shop pay to all US customers. Starting off the try on haul with none other than Princess Polly, I'm actually wearing a full outfit from them. Right now, I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail this is the Laya cardigan in the color beige. When I tell you that this is one of the softest things I've ever put on my body, I'm not even kidding. I love this fabric because it's soft and cozy. It's not like that annoying, like itchy, prickly cardigan. I think it's super flattering. It kind of runs oversized on purpose, but it's definitely on trend for the fall season. Underneath the cardigan, I have it layered with their Darlington crop top. I, of course, got the brown color to really fit with the fall theme. It has a ribbed material and it's a little bit of a higher scoop neck. And if you guys know me, I talk about all the time how I prefer for like higher neck stuff. I don't really like V cuts or like really low cut shirts. And as far as pants go, I am wearing their Lana high rise straight leg jeans in the color black. I'm a huge fan of high rise jeans. You will never catch me dead in low rise jeans. I don't care if it becomes the most trendy thing ever. It's not happening. They're definitely a great staple jean. Next from Princess Polly is this Delaney bodysuit in the color beige. I absolutely love the texture and color of this bodysuit. I think it's gorgeous. And also the sleeves are kind of like mesh see-through almost like hosiery kind of is what it reminds me of. I'm also a huge fan of the square neck. I'm not a fan of V cuts and I'm not a fan of like low scoop, but I'll take a square neck any day of the week. I've worn this a couple times so far this season and it's great with high-waisted jeans and a leather jacket. Next up, I have this adorable plaid skirt. This is the Caroline plaid mini skirt. Maybe you're not into the bright plaid colors. If you want something a little bit more neutral, but it still screams fall because it's plaid, definitely this skirt. Next from Princess Polly is something that I am in love with. The second I saw it, I knew I needed it because it was all of the right things about fall. And it is none other than this Doria jacket. Tell me this doesn't give you Taylor Swift Evermore vibes because hello, yes. This is my definition of the perfect fall jacket. It has all the colors, it has plaid, it's big, it's cozy. It has that like teddy jacket material on the outside, but then that acrylic lining on the inside and it's gonna keep you warm. And of course it's stylish. I mean, I'm obsessed. This can be worn so many different ways, but this is just my favorite go-to jacket just to throw on over whatever it is I'm wearing to like run to the store or if I'm running errands and it's kind of cold outside. When I saw this sweater on the Princess Polly website, I knew immediately that I needed it for two reasons. One, it's a sweater. I love sweaters. Sweater weather. It's, I could literally wear a sweater in the heat of summer. Like I do actually wear sweaters sometimes in the heat of summer. I love them. I just do. I think I'm crazy, but it's fine. And also, can we appreciate this gorgeous like sage green color? Now this is definitely what's on trend right now. That sage green is just so beautiful. And I feel like it looks good on so many different skin tones. Doesn't matter like your hair color, your eye color. This light green color looks so good on everybody. This is the Juliet sweater in the color green. This material, this like fabric has a very soft and cozy feeling, very similar to this Laya cardigan. Okay, I know I'm overusing the terms soft and cozy, but I feel very passionately about it explaining how a sweater feels, especially over the internet, because how many times have you bought something online, sweater, cardigan, whatever, shirt, or you've gone in stores and you're like feeling the different materials and you feel that one that is just prickly and scratchy, but it's so cute, but you know you can't buy it because when you wear it, you're gonna be overstimulated it and you're gonna be itchy and scratchy all day and you just, it's horrible. That's not what we want. We don't like that. We don't support it. But instead, we love things that are actually soft, that actually aren't scratchy, that actually are cozy and that you're not gonna regret buying. Sweaters are important to me. Cardigans are important to me. Crew necks and sweatshirts, also important to me. Look how cute this is. First of all, this is perfect for November. I mean, Thanksgiving's coming up. One might be 
grateful during the Thanksgiving season. I've been weirdly loving orange lately. That's also why I painted my nails this color because I've been really digging it recently. But also I just could not take my eyes off the orange like 70s font. It's so cute. It's big and oversized. It's comfortable. It's definitely one of my new favorite crewnecks in my closet. Another pair of pants that I love from Princess Polly that I thought were like really fun and different for the fall season are these plaid like checkered pants. These are the Euros pants in the yellow check color. And I don't know if you're bored of wearing blue jeans or black jeans all the time, you can definitely switch up your pants and wear something cool like this. The fabric is like a nice slack and it has a zipper on the side. They're extremely comfortable and they have a nice flare to the leg. I'm 5'4", so these are a little bit long on me, but as long as I'm wearing some kind of platform boot or shoe or heel, these fit great. The last item from Princess Polly, or a pair of boots. I think these are so fun and so cool. Totally out of my comfort zone. But when I saw them, I was like, I need these in my life because they are so cool. Are you kidding me? I think these are so cool and different. Like this gives me total bad bitch vibes. Like when I wear these, I'm unstoppable because like, look at that, look at the bottom. These are the Alamode ribbed sock boots. And as you can see, it gets the name from like the sock part right here. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm also a big fan of whatever material it is that gets the shoe shiny. I know like some black boots can be that more like matte appearance. I've also learned that these are a pretty good dupe for the Prada Chelsea boots. So I mean, if you don't wanna spend almost $2,000 on a pair of boots, consider these as your backup dupe option that are equally as cute. Okay, moving on to Airy and American Eagle, some of the things that I've bought for fall that I am loving. First one is this sweater, of course, from American Eagle. This is the AE Snowdrift sweater. This again is another cozy and soft sweater. Trust me, I only buy cozy and soft things. I would not steer you wrong. This I ordered in a medium and it's definitely oversized. I feel like I could have actually ordered a small and it still would have been oversized. Next, I got a ribbed tank top. This is in like a dark green color, which I love so much. This is perfect to wear under any jacket or sweater. And I feel like also when spring rolls around, I can still wear this. Next from American Eagle, is just this long sleeve white mock neck, I think is what it is, since it's not like a true tall turtleneck, it's a mock neck. But as I was looking through my closet and doing some online shopping, I realized I didn't really have any lightweight sweaters. I don't even know what you would call it. It's just like a lightweight long sleeve shirt like this. So I wanted to get it. It does have, if you can see, a little bit of a design to it. It's like ribbed. There's like a little bit of a design in there, but it's super cute, super lightweight. I did buy this with the intention of kind of like layering it, like wearing it under different cardigans and jackets and things like that. But I feel like everybody needs a staple long sleeve white shirt like this. Moving right along to Aerie, they have some really cute stuff out this season for fall, you guys. First up is just this very basic gray sweater, more of like a long sleeve shirt sweater, kind of. It's not bulky at all. And I will say the sizing on this was a bit strange. Luckily, I was trying this on actually in stores when I went to the mall because otherwise online I would have ordered a medium or a large, but this is an extra small. Definitely, definitely, definitely size down. I don't think I've ever bought an extra small anything in my life ever, even as a kid. I have never, ever worn an extra small. So this was like very strange for me to purchase it, but it fits perfect and it still fits oversized. The next one is definitely one of my favorites for this season, but also I feel like it's so versatile. Like it's lightweight, so I feel like you could actually wear it year round. Is this adorable waffle knit sweater. Again, similar to the last sweater, it's definitely not thick and bulky. It is much more lightweight, almost like a t-shirt material. It's so cute and stylish and I love the neutral color. Again, this runs very, very oversized. This is an extra small. And recently I've been loving wearing it with the sleeves kind of folded back like this. I feel like that's just so cute. Just gives it like a little flair, you know? And lastly from Airy is just a good old flannel jacket. This really caught my eye because I love like the shades of brown and the burgundies and the darker reds in this. This is just like your classic fall flannel. Like I feel like I stole this out of my imaginary boyfriend's closet. It's just perfect. Now I'm gonna be talking about Target. I only have two things so far this year from Target. The Target near me honestly doesn't have the best clothes. I'm gonna need to venture out a little bit and explore some more. This first item is definitely a little different for me and kind of out of my comfort zone, but when I saw it, I was obsessed. It's this really adorable corduroy dress. I was first obsessed with the color. It's this nice like teal, like greenish blue color. When I saw it hanging from the rack, this was one of the rare times where I actually pictured in my head a full outfit, probably because I've seen it before. It's nothing like groundbreaking, but I totally pictured myself wearing this 
with like a black turtleneck, some semi-sheer black tights, and my Doc Martens. And usually I'm not really into wearing dresses. I don't own a lot of dresses, but I could not say no to this one. And my other Target buy is just this cardigan. It has a nice fit. You can wear it buttoned or unbuttoned, and it has nice sleeves as well. They kind of taper toward the end, so it kind of gives you just a very slight balloon sleeve. This is a really cute and basic go-to sweater. Next, I wanted to share two pairs of denim jeans that are literally carrying me through the fall and winter season. First are these Old Navy jeans. They're the most comfortable, flattering, appropriately sized jeans I think I've ever found before. These are the Sky High Straight jeans, and they are easily some of my favorite jeans. And they come down as a straight leg, so they're not too baggy, but then they're not too skinny either. These next pair of jeans, I cannot believe that I own. Um, guys, I have Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. There. I said it. I saw Instagram ads for them. I saw TikToks. People were like, seriously, Abercrombie and Fitch have great jeans. Like they fit a lot of body types. They're great. And I was like, I will be the judge of that because I'm picky with jeans, how they fit, how they look. I feel like I'm not the most proportionate person. And I didn't even try these on in person. I ordered them online. And when they came in, they still fit perfectly. I was actually shocked. I, I genuinely could not believe what just happened. But these are the 90s straight ultra high-rise jeans. I told you guys I liked high-waisted high things. High-rise, high-waisted. Um, I wasn't kidding. These definitely have a little bit of a straighter but more flared look. They're definitely not tight at all down here. They fit me very loose. They have two slits right here in the knees. I never thought I would say one of my favorite pairs of jeans are from Abercrombie and Fitch. But people on the internet weren't kidding. They are actually really great jeans. They're a little bit pricey, but they're worth it if they fit so well and are actually good quality. Last but not least, my last two items that I'm sharing with you guys are things that I have thrifted this season. I have not gone thrift shopping in so, so long, but I found these two absolute gems and I'm excited to share them with you. My first thrifted item is just this green jacket. I really don't know how to describe it. The texture is interesting. It's not quite like a teddy jacket. I have no idea. I think it's just cotton, but I don't know how to describe this. It's soft, but it's definitely textured. And then also I thought it was cute because it has elbow patches on the arms and I love little touches like that. I own a lot of green sweaters, but I don't own any green jackets. So when I saw this at the thrift store, I knew that I needed it. I always strike out when I go thrift shopping until my trip a few weeks ago, I hit the absolute jackpot. It is none other than this incredible long leather jacket. Authentic, real leather jackets can run anywhere from like $100 to like $1,000, depending on where you get them from. I got this beauty of a jacket, $10, $10, and then $20 to get it dry cleaned. So $30 I got this jacket for. I'm just obsessed with it. I know some people probably aren't into it, but like the long leather jacket vibes, I just think are so cool. I'm very proud of myself for this thrift find, if you can't tell. This was a true gem to find because like I said, I always, always strike out at thrift stores. I know this video is a little bit different than what I normally post, and I'm definitely not a fashion blogger or fashion person at all, but I did wanna share with you guys some of my favorite things that I am loving and can't wait to wear for the fall season. Again, thank you so much, Princess Polly, for sponsoring today's video. I have bought so many clothes from them before, so when they wanted to do this collaboration, it was like a dream come true. Don't forget to use my code KaylaX20 so you can get 20% off site-wide on your orders from now until December 10th. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.